and welcome to your rating source for the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated WWE news, rumors, headlines, speculation, and gossip. We do it to you, and we give it to you right here, right in front of you, whether it be on your cell phone, your laptop, your desktop, your PC, your device, your tablet, your phone, whatever, TV, PS5, Xbox, break them all out. Because Sean's View Entertainment will go all out for each and every one of you to give you the satisfaction of all the news, the rumors, and headlines. Now, is it true that sometimes things don't happen? Sometimes things materialize. Sometimes things come halfway. Sometimes they come full way. Sometimes they may not happen at all. But that's what makes WWE news and rumors so entertaining, so engaging, and so compelling. Because everybody can have their own vision. Everybody can have their own view. And whether you like me, for me, against me, whether you hate me, as long as you're leaving your comments down below, we do it in stereo. Now, remember to tell your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your aunts, your uncles, your brothers. Tell everybody you know about Show and View and share it all over social media. Because, ladies and gentlemen, without you, there quite frankly is no Sean's View Entertainment. Now, the big thing that this episode is going to provide and bring to you is the fact that you just never know. You just never, ever know what can happen in wrestling completely. Pro wrestling, not just WWE. You know, they have that motto in WWE that says, anything can happen in the WWE. Well, let me tell you something. Anything can happen in WWE news, rumors, and headlines. And that is exactly what we're talking about in this very episode. Now, you see the title of the video. Triple H was seen, according to rumors and speculation, and, you know, this, this may be confirmed or unconfirmed, but, again, we do bring up stuff that could happen, may happen, will happen. Triple H seen with a top star. I'm not talking about a tag team in AEW. I'm not talking about a tag team in AEW wrestling because we already know that the Lucha Brothers' AEW contractual status amidst their WWE interest. Is Tony Khan even going to let them go? Now, listen, the Lucha Brothers would bring something epic to the WWE tag team division because right now the tag team division is okay. It's definitely been better, and it's been worse. But if the Lucha Brothers transition over to the WWE, that obviously would be a great thing. That would be a good thing. And we're going to get into that right now, but we're also going to get into the other star, the other superstar, the other wrestler that has, according to those in the know, been spotted with Triple H and what was planned out. Well, first of all, let's, let's get into this one. According to Fightful Select, reports recently surfaced suggested that the Lucha Brothers, Penta and Ray Phoenix have signed multi-year contracts with WWE. However, sources within WWE confirmed to Fightful that while WWE may be their expected destination, they have not signed yet. See, here on Show and View, we like to be legitimate and credible. And if there's something wrong or something changes, we give you the update. We give you the change. We give you the development. We don't just leave you hanging. We give you the true view here. Now, both wrestlers are still listed on AEW's official roster. Attempts to get official responses from AEW and WWE regarding the situation have been met with silence. Regarding the Lucha Brothers merchandise, Lucha pointed out, Lucha Blog has pointed out that while WWE is reportedly preparing to release Lucha Brother merchandise, the situation is different from AEW's ap approach. Now, while the Lucha Brothers might be co uh, connected and cemented to WWE rumors, rumors, they remain part of AEW's roster for now. Fans are left speculating when or if we will see them make the jump to WWE, turning this into now a waiting game. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, we got breaking news on the Royal Rumble 2025. Yes, you heard that right. Breaking news on the Royal Rumble 2025. An ex-WWE star is open to a Royal Rumble return. And ladies and gentlemen, that being TNA legend Matt Morgan. Now remember when they had Matt Morgan have these stuttering gimmick, kind of like what uh, Bully Ray, Bubba Ray Dudley had in ECW, the st st stutter, d d d d Dudley boy. Remember that? Well, is it a one-off? Okay, if it's a one-off, probably, yeah. I have no desire to wrestle. Hell no. Full-time, it ain't happening. And, uh, you know, he was a good wrestler, was Matt Morgan. Uh, he had a great gimmick in TNA, the blueprint. Also, we got breaking news coming straight out of WWE. The reason why Vince McMahon stopped yearly WWE King of the Ring events. One day we're sitting there and Vince goes, why are you thinking King of the Ring? 
We do the King of the Ring every year. It sucks. He wanted to move away from the tournament. He was tired of it. And just like that, he decided we're not doing the King of the Ring anymore. Stop thinking that way. Get outside of the box and move forward. Let's come up with something else. That was it. So Vince McMahon, you know, although, you know, in the, in, listen, the King of the Ring has been back. Listen, Triple H has brought back and has uh, undone a lot of the things that was horrible from Vince McMahon. But also Vince had a lot of good ideas. He had a lot of captivating ideas. Again, if it weren't for Vince McMahon, there would be no WWE right in front of us right now. There wouldn't be this global juggernaut that it is. We wouldn't even be able to come on here and talk about wrestling if it wasn't for Vince McMahon. No matter what he's done or what he may have done, no matter the controversy, no matter the conflict, you got to put that out there that Vince McMahon has definitely set a precedent then, unlike anybody else in, in the genre of professional wrestling. AEW's 921 collision, which is tonight, is expected to bring in a significant revenue for Springfield, Massachusetts. Yes, collision will be tonight from Springfield, Massachusetts. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, Breaking news on Raw and SmackDown. Yes, we've got breaking news coming in about Raw and SmackDown. WWE has actually filmed more footage for a viral 920 SmackDown angle. Yes, so again, more angles, more prominence, more significance on storylines and angles. you got to appreciate that, especially once Raw and SmackDown will both be not one hour, not two hours. They will both be three hours. Hours. Also, an ex WWE writer claims raw shift to two hours will result in more releases. And again, we brought that up the other day. Now, that's the thing. I brought this up. See, a lot of this news that we hear, I've already brought it out two or three days ahead of time before schedule. That's the thing about Sean View. We give you the news early and we give it to you often. Okay. So, some of the things that you read, see, and hear. I've already talked about, I've already said it, and if you're watching and clicking and viewing and interacting, that's all that matters to the brash and the brazen. Right, wrong, or indifferent, this show is all about you. Also, ladies and gentlemen, WWE bad blood breaking news on Gunther in the World Heavyweight Championship. WWE bad blood 2024 betting odds show Gunther as a massive favorite to retain the championship. Now listen, Sami Zayn has Gunther's number. Sami Zayn has defeated Gunther in the past, but we are seeing a whole different side of Gunther. Now, I'm not so sure if Sami Zayn is ready, is, is up to the task now that Gunther's on another level. He's no longer the Intercontinental Champion. He is now the World Heavyweight Champion. And Gunther was good then, but he's even better now. And I don't know if Sami Zayn can, quite frankly, overcome those insurmountable odds. However, if anybody can do it, it would be Sami Zayn out of nowhere. Nobody thought he would have won at WrestleMania. He did. But again, we're talking about Gunther. We're talking about a different level. We're talking about a different era. And we're talking about a different setting. And Gunther is in a completely different place in his career than he was at WrestleMania. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a backstage attack. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you're, it was a backstage assault. Piper Niven destroys Mitchin in a backstage attack. Now, you're all wondering, who's the star? Who's the wrestler that Triple H was seen with? Well, ladies and gentlemen, according to rumors and speculation, kind of like Triple H was seen with AEW star CM Punk, and then CM Punk eventually signed with the WWE. Remember when CM Punk was at Raw? Remember when he signed? Remember when he met up with Triple H, and everybody was going like, oh my God, everybody was going nuts, everybody was going crazy. People could not believe what they were seeing and hearing. CM Punk and Triple H backstage meeting at Raw, and this was when CM Punk was an AEW star. This is when CM Punk was on the outs with AEW. Well, according to speculation and rumors, whether it's a buyout, or whether it's this person trying to come out of their contract, rumors and speculation are running rampant. Is it Dean Ambrose that was seen, that was met, that will sign with Triple H and the WWE? Guys, you can you can expect the unexpected. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have occurred. And as they say in the WWE, guys, you can never forget this. Never say never. Because as volatile and as courageous as it may all be, this may just be setting the table of something to see. Subscribe. Plenty more to come. The brash and the brazen will always overcome and not succumb. Later.